This is Michael Cole, and on behalf of Taz and myself, we welcome you to SmackDown. And here comes the man who hopes to become number one contender for the World Heavyweight title tonight, the animal, Batista. And Batista's no stranger to the World Heavyweight title. Remember, he's the guy who brought it to SmackDown from Raw. And from the looks of him, ha, I'd say he's ready to get it back right here, right now. Even though this is a non-title match, the champion looks focused and intense, Taz. That's the attitude you got to have in every match when you're the champ. Take it from me, you got to be on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you want to hold on to that title. Good evening, and welcome to SmackDown. Coming to you tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Lena is fired up tonight, Cole. No doubt about it, baby. And I'm just as pumped up as the sellout crowd. With good reason, Taz. You and I both know what's coming. And these fans are definitely getting their money's worth tonight. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary Deadman. The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Ted. So much can go wrong from that top turnbuckle. I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. Batista has had lots of success so far, but that's just because his opponents only really let him psych him out. You can't back down from a dude like Batista. I don't think that's the case at all, Taz. And I think that the sight of a heavily muscled six and a half foot animal like Batista doesn't intimidate you, you'd better have your head examined. These superstars have been going hard all match. They, okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why don't you quit showing off and get down to business here? He is getting down to business. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. And there's the pin. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this is... I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. There's the cover. He's adding insult to injury by using that move against his opponent. On the mat, shoulders down.
What's up, champ? Teddy Long just told me that I've lost my chance to become the number one contender tonight in my match against you. He said it was because of what I did to that referee last week. But come on. I know you must have been pulling strings behind the scenes. I don't blame you for not wanting to face me at No Way Out, but there's almost two months between now and WrestleMania. You can only run from me for so long, and I guarantee you that the legend killer is going to be in the WrestleMania main event, one way or another. This was supposed to have been a number one contender match for Randy Orton tonight, Taz, but his behavior last week caused Teddy Long to name Batista the number one contender for No Way Out. Yeah, Orton crossed the line last week, no doubt, but I wonder if the champ had anything to do with this. But maybe, just maybe, he doesn't want to face Orton. I highly doubt that, Taz. He still has to put the title on the line regardless of his opponent. The only person Orton's got to blame is himself. This sold-out crowd is on its feet here in St. Louis, Missouri. Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. I'll tell you, Cole, these WWE fans are so fired up, I'm having a hard time staying in my seat. I'm with you on that, partner. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis fans, and I can't wait to get started. The thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool, he's going up, and what goes up must come down. He dodged that bullet. Oh, my! There's the submission hold! He's in the driver's seat now! No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. There's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out to this one, Cole. You and me both, partner, and we might be about to see another one right here. Nice quick counter. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out, but now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. And here we go with the submission hold. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hole, Cole. Man, you talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. He's going for the pin. One, two. Is that it? No, only a two count. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on them and wear them down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have... He's going for the cover, Cole! One, two... You almost got the three right there, Cole. Hey, 
Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're gonna get on your high horse again and give us a bunch of lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. If you end up winning a match like this, you're gonna be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical. And it looks like he's bleeding. This is not going to help his chances. Well, that depends, Cole. I mean, some guys, they go a little nuts at the side of their own blood and they become unstoppable. Well, that doesn't seem like a good strategy to me. I hope he ends this before he suffers a serious injury. Okay, yeah, great. That's just great. Now, why don't you quit showing off and get down to business here? He is getting down to business. He's in the sports entertainment business, isn't he? And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. That was a textbook reversal. Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proved himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I... He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. There's the reversal, Cole. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Nothing costs you a match quicker than overcome. What are you talking about? I see a dominant superstar who's rallying this capacity. It looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone power drive. Oh, man, these fans are fired up. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Hey, Batista, what the hell was that last week? Last week? Oh, you mean when I came down to the ring to save you from getting worked over by Randy Orton? Yeah, and you sure took your time doing it. Wow, I guess that's gratitude for you. Listen, it's not like it's my job to keep you from getting your ass kicked. If you're dumb enough to turn your back on a guy like Orton, 
You deserve what you get. Besides, it's not like Orton's making my job at No Way Out any tougher. Oh, so that's why you took your sweet time getting into the ring. You wanted to get an advantage in our match at No Way Out. Look, man, I didn't need to come out last week at all. And I definitely don't need an advantage. From now on, you can fight your own battles, champ. Some heated words exchanged there between the champion and the number one contender. This match doesn't have anything to do with the World Heavyweight title situation, Taz, but I wouldn't be surprised if Randy Orton made another appearance where he's not welcome. Normally, I'd say you're just being paranoid, Cole, but after the last few weeks, I got to agree with you. Just keep your eyes on the match, though. If your play-by-play -play suffers any more than it normally does, I just might have to sit next to good old JR. Barbecue! My name is Finley, and I love to fight. And the opponent, from Belfast, Ireland, weighing in at 235 pounds, Finley! A sold-out crowd in Memphis, Tennessee is on its feet. Michael Cole and Taz at ringside, all set for another exciting evening of SmackDown action. Hey, we're bigger than Elvis tonight, Cole. This crowd can't wait. That's a big claim to make, Taz. But you might just be right. Elvis is only one superstar, but SmackDown's got a whole locker room full of them. What a different submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this.
When you think of how many years Finley has been in this business, it's amazing that he can still compete at the level he does. No kidding. He's taking real good care of himself. He's in fine with Fickle, as they say. A real fit guy is Finley. Man, this crowd is really swell in this guy's day. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Nothing costs you a match quicker than overconfidence. What are you talking about? I see a dominant superstar who's rallying this capacity crowd behind him. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on this match. He was one step ahead on that one. That was a textbook reversal. opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Paul. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight Champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like push -ups. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE. Oh, my! Someone's getting a taste of their own finishing move. Watch it. He reversed it. Shoulders down. This could be it. Kicked out just in the nick of time. This Finley is so tough, so aggressive, so ruthless. I love watching this guy go to work. And you'd think that someone with all the tools that Finley has at his disposal wouldn't need to step outside the rules as often as he does. But we've seen time and time again, he'll do whatever it takes to win. remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool, you keep, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last line. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. Finley Hills, he's going for the pin, Cole. One, two, three. Well, what do you know? Looks like you were being paranoid after all. Or you didn't show face after all. Technically speaking, Taz, it's not paranoia if they really have to get you. Despite his absence here, I think you'd agree that Randy Orton has certainly set his sights on the World Heavyweight Championship.
Randy Orton might not be in the World Heavyweight title picture at the moment, Taz, but you'd never know it by looking at some of the matches he's had recently. That's one of the best ways that you get a title opportunity. If you can prove that you can hang with the champ and maybe get a little heat on him, it's only a matter of time before you're gonna be getting a shot at the title. And Orton knows that better than anybody. I can't help but wonder what Batista's attitude is going into this match, Taz. Well, obviously, he faces the champ on Sunday for the title, so he's looking to feel him out a little bit here tonight. Orton's the wild card, though. He's not exactly friendly with Batista, but you gotta figure he's done him some favors in harassing the champ. And here comes the man who puts the World Heavyweight title on the line against the Animal Batista this Sunday at No Way Out. Yeah, it's kind of funny to think about it, but this might be the last time we see him on SmackDown with the World Heavyweight title. If he's going to keep that title, he's going to need to get to No Way Out in one piece. And that means he's going to have to focus on both his opponents tonight, as tempted as he may be to go right after Randy Orton. Good evening, and welcome to SmackDown. Coming to you tonight from Atlanta, Georgia. Hot Lena is fired up tonight, Cole. No doubt about it, baby. And I'm just as pumped up as the sellout. For good reason, Taz. You and I both know what's coming. And these fans are definitely getting their money's worth tonight. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? He smells blood and water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. They're sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pull for in this match. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injuries. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my... Oh, man. This is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt. Front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. He can get the pin right here. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on this match. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is. But there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. 
Jeez, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but he can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long... Holy cow! He just stole this guy's finisher! That takes some guts. It sounds like this could... There's the reversal, Cole. He wasted no time going for that pin. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. No, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing. Oh, my God. Look at the blood just pouring down his face. Ha! I love it when these superstars just go in there and beat them. Someone's going for a ride, Cole. And it looks like it's the last ride. Man, this match is so good. It's a, here's the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. The champ is taking out the trash. So long, Randy. Whoa. Looks like we had a little preview of No Way Out going on here. Oh my god! RKO! RKO! That was a serious tactical error on the part of the champ, Cole. Just cause you toss a guy out of the ring doesn't mean, you know, he's done for good. And did you notice, Taz? Batista didn't do a damn thing to stop that RKO. And why should he, Cole? He warned the champ weeks ago that he was going to have to fight his own battles. I think you're making a big mistake by going ahead with this match after that attack. Now, there ain't a superstar in the whole locker room who'd hold it against you if you forfeited the title tonight. You've got the whole rest of your career to consider. Now, if you're going to do this, you better do it smart and be careful out there. You're too valuable to smack down to suffer a career-ending injury tonight. Good luck, champ. It looks like things just got a little easier for Batista in this match, Taz. After that ambush earlier tonight, I can't believe that the champion's going ahead with this title defense. Me neither, Paul. 
and we still don't know who hit the champ. Who knows? Maybe Batista does. Easy, partner. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble saying things like that without being able to back them up. I've got to give the champ credit for going ahead with this match, but he's risking a lot. You have to wonder if it's the best move of his career. Yeah, but what's the alternative? To forfeit the title a month before WrestleMania? An injury's bad, no doubt. But that's a real career ender right there, I'm telling you, man. He dodged that bullet. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker's one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in the WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing it. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and has been. I can't believe you can sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has been. That could be hazardous to your health. Hey, Cole, don't put words in my mouth. The dead man has been on top of this business for a very long time. But the thing about being on top is there's nowhere to go but down. There's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. Nice reversal. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right, Taz. They paid for their tickets. He's going for the pin! He's got the tree right there, Cole. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar's like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be e This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, tell you what, one mistake and we'll see that fire go out pronto. And there's the count. This guy might not have enough to kick out. One, two. Is that it? No, only a two count. Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. And he's got a lot to be confident about. Yeah, he looks a little overconfident to me, Cole. And that could come back to bite him on a you-know-what. I think we're hearing the I feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. And there's the submission hole. What a death maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. You gotta be careful when you're going up there. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was gonna be intense. We knew it was gonna be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kinda took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's it. Someone's going for a ride, Cole. And it looks like it's the last ride. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, he's three seconds away from a win! One, two, 
What a match. The champion overcame that backstage assault and went on to defeat the animal Batista and retain the World Heavyweight title. That's a lot of fire and a lot of thought right there, Cole. That's the stuff true champions are made of. And you know what else that means for the champion? Next stop, WrestleMania.